Hello friends, this is Uts, according to the polls anyway, and today we're doing another episode in the 50 wins in a row series, this time with our boy Bubba, the cannibal, and if you've watched one of the previous episodes, we've got a few of them already, uh, then you know the rules, it's very simple stuff, uh, win is considered when I 4k, I get 4 kills on the survivors, or I get 3 kills and the last survivor has to escape either through the hatch or I close the hatch and they get the gate somehow. If I force him to have to leave early or use a key if he's the last person, if I force him to leave early, that's a win because they didn't complete all generators. If they do complete all generators and have a single person escape, that is a loss. Uh, but luckily, over the 50 uh, games, this did not happen. Also, I guess if they have multiple people escape with a key, that would be a loss too, but again, that hasn't happened. Uh, yet, uh, luckily, we were able to play around some of the keys that we encountered. So, um, was there something fairly unique about the cannibal? Actually, uh, yeah, the cannibal, um, it does have some unique strengths that you need to take advantage of. He has an amazing ability to turn a weak link in the chain into a complete hindrance for the entire survivor team. Uh, one pattern that I noticed in these 50 games is that often I would have a lobby with maybe two, one, three really, really decent survivors that seem to be fairly on point that would make me make mistakes or that would uh, very clearly loop me very efficiently. But eventually I would find the one player, the one player who is a little bit clumsier than the rest. And with this color, they go down very quickly and drag the rest of the team alongside with them. Uh, Crossplay, in my opinion, helps with this a lot. Having people from console and PC mixed together, I think honestly helps a lot with your chances as a killer because they seem to, it seems to increase your ability to just go against random uh, groups of survivors without being a full group. I definitely notice a difference when I turn off crossplay. You don't go just against PC players as a PC player yourself. You actually go against PC players that have gone out of their way to select that option. And you find a lot of very sweaty, very... Um, uh, sometimes uh, distasteful kinds of players when you select crossplay off, same goes with killer. So that would have been a lot harder, but playing with crossplay on, you definitely get a lot more manageable um, groups of players if it's something that you want to do uh, yourself. Obviously, it also gives you faster lobbies, which is never a bad thing. So yeah, the cannibal. What are the things you need to master in order to, to get 50 wins in a row or more, or at least do better if you're starting out with them? You need to use your chenzo. There's no negotiating that. You cannot let survivors dictate the, the flow of the game and use their potential adrenalines or inner strengths or very strong medkits to make you hit them and waste time. You need to force them constantly to choose between insta-down or giving you a pallet early. And I mean very early. And that, that has to be the skill that you hone, that you master. And of course, if they give you pallets with, uh, with the style that we'll have through our perks, they give you pallets, they give you pallets, eventually they run out of pallets and they go down regardless. That is your plan. Now, there is a skill that I noticed I started to, to get better at, which is to find the sweet spot to break the pallet and also down the survivor and have them be in a lose-lose situation, right? When you're looping a, a, a survivor, there's a certain distance that you need to find yourself in with your chin so fully charged and ready to go. If you are too close to the survivor by the time he reaches the pallet, that's a bad thing. If he drops the pallet, you'll be stunned. And, you know, you don't want that. If you're a little bit too far, and you begin your chain, so and he keeps going, then you won't really catch him. He'll get to the... He'll do a full loop on that partic particular structure, and then he'll drop the pallet, and you'll be, uh, you'll be right there. Now, what you want to do is find that middle spot, which is very close to the survivor, but slightly ahead... But slightly before the pallet, and you can force this somehow, that... It's that, it's that sweet spot where if the survivor drops the pallet, you immediately fully charge your chainsaw and break it. And now you, the survivor makes very little distance, you will be able to catch up to him. And if he has another pallet, he'll have to do exactly the same immediately. But sometimes the survivor will think, okay, he's here, but I, I can go for another run. And that sweet spot is being close enough, not to be stunned, but close enough that you can actually catch him. You let go of the chainsaw. You're not too fast, but it does gain speed over time. And by the time the survivor gets back to the pallet, you've already downed them. That is the sweet spot that you need to get really, really good at. And that you'll see in the matches that we'll showcase after I'm done explaining all of this. So that is the number one skill. Using your chainsaw a lot and getting good at, den and, uh, at denying these pallets. Getting them out of the way very, very quickly. However, 
if you chase a survivor and they only drop pallets and the rest of survivors are doing gens and you don't know what's going on, you are going to lose. So this is where a bill comes in and it is an incredibly original build consisting of the most meta perks you can imagine. Uh, it's the same build we run on Pyramid Head and even on our clown attempt, but honestly it, it, it feels like its own thing for the cannibal. There's a lot of good reasons to run this build. With Ruin and Undying, you have two perks that will slow the game down to a crawl, where if you manage to get rid of some pallets and still have several gems left, survivors will simply eventually at some point start going down like flies with nothing they can do and gems still to be done. Uh, ruin and Undying basically means Ruin uh, forever. They have to do at least two totems, uh, potentially three or more, if they want to get rid of Ruin, which makes it extremely unappealing, especially for a team that's not very coordinated. And you can also see when survivors run by totems. This is huge. This means that you can protect your totems if you need to with an insta-down threat, which is quite significant. They can't just take a slap on the wrist and then run away. If they try to do a totem and you catch them, they will go down. And also you see there are a randomly, which means that a survivor can, cr can crouch next to a random bone uh, hide there thinking that they're safe and you go around the corner pretending to be a fool and not know that they're there and immediately down them So that on this killer is so huge But you gotta realize if you insta down survivors you can pull other survivors from generators And if you are near a generator, there's no survivor that can that can do that generator in front of your face Remember you want to find the weak link and you want to get down and cannibal even without add-ons can catch up to a spring burst or to a balanced landing that happens right in front of you. This is something that I learned along the way that is really, really critical. If you have a mech working in the generator and she starts spring bursting away and you're next to her, you can you can begin to charge your chance so you will catch up to her by the end of your final swing if you have all the charges. So, knowing all of that, Ruin is insanely good on this killer. You do not bother kicking generators. You do not bother patrolling. You just do your job, get rid of pallets, get down, have the team mobilize itself and, and build up your pressure and the gens will go back to nothing very, very frequently. We had an unspeakable amount of five generator kills uh, and everybody's killed uh, during this streak, which should not even be legal. Uh, but yeah, that aside, Ruin and Dying, extremely strong combination. What are the other two perks we bring? Ru uh, we got Tinker Tinkerer and Discordance. These two perks are basically, they're, they're basically your flight attendant uh, and you're uh, and you're autopilot. They're telling you what to do at any given time. At the start of the match, if you don't see someone walk by a bone and have their arrow revealed, if survivors stuck on the same gen, you go there and you disturb them. If you down one of them next to a gen that's nearly done, doesn't matter. You hook them there. What are they gonna do? Come back and then hook in front of you? They cannot do it. You can insta down and hit multiple survivors that are close. That means that you're now protecting that area and ruin's gonna make that generator that was maybe nearly done start to go back slowly to nothing. So yeah, this is an amazing perk. And with Tinkerer, it grows in value. Tinkerer will let you know when a generator is at 70%. So that's basically telling you, hey, this gen is about to be done in about 24 seconds, give or take. Uh, but it also lets you know how much time you have to you have to get there. If the score is on a generator and Tinkerer procs on that generator, that means two or more people are there. You need to really, really hurry. Uh, if the score is not on, but Tinkerer procs, that means it's a single person. So you have... A lot of time, 24 seconds or so to get there, 16 seconds of which will be stealthy and undetectable because Tinker makes you undetectable. And this is so amazing. You can turn so many games around by literally going uh, around the gen and not just getting an ins uh, 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 a little insta hit, no, getting an insta down out of it. Multiple insta downs even sometimes. Many, many games were completely turned around because of this and you will see that. So yeah. Uh, insanely inf insanely good information. If you're chasing a survivor that's constantly dropping pallets, uh, get a pallet out of the way, get a pallet out of the way, get a pallet out of the way, tinker a procs, uh, let them believe that you're chasing them for a second and then immediately go for the generator. This tells you what to do so that you can focus on, what you, on what's your strength, which is trading pallets and insta downing survivors. That's basically it for the cannibal. That's basically your strategy. You will need to pick up some mind games here and there. You will need to... Um, to catch some survivors off guard and you will need to find that weak link in the chain But that's our general strategy and we're gonna see three matches where you'll see some of this One of them is a match in a tough map where survivors were almost kind of stealthy and they split up on gens Which is how you defeat this build by the way split up on gens at the start 
and they had a really, really good use of their perk. They had very competent back and forth uh, altruism, and it was a really interesting match that really pushed me to my limits. And then you will see a match where everything really was against us, where RNG was very, very bad, but one small turn of events changed everything. And then at the end, you'll see the 50th, the final uh, match in the streak that, as you'll see, was very, very scary um, and could have been a complete disaster. Uh, you'll see how you'll see how that turns out. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave you with the games. Thank you so very much for watching. It means a lot that you guys uh, request uh, videos like this and that you tell me, oh, now go for Myers or whatever. If you want to do that in the comments, I really welcome it. I've also noticed mm -mm, that many of you are watching without being subscribed. And that is completely cool. About half of you that watch this series are not subscribed. That's fine. No need to commit. But if you want to catch the next one that we make eventually, do feel free to subscribe. Uh, it might make it easier not to miss it. I'm going to leave you with the games. Thank you again for watching. Uh, yeah. Oh, bad hand. This could be okay. The Twitter, oh yeah, whoever's been behind Twitter lately have, they've honestly upped it up. Yeah, the, 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 the community manager on Twitter, or managers, have been doing a great job. This is a tough map for Chenso people, for Chenso inclined killers, but Tinker and the Scordons give insanely good value, Tinker in particular. So let's hope they carry me a little bit and they don't spread on gems like maniacs. Wow, that's no one here. Let's not waste any more time. Go for the other two, three gems. If there's a gem being worked on there, I do not hear it. Wow. Okay. What are they doing? Uh, split up. No discordance. Uh, it seems like they're fairly good at telling what I'm... I'm yep, someone's doing a totem already. Ooh, rough start, dude. Rough start. That was good. That was great, dude. Oof. She almost stuns me and gets away with it. Uh, what totem are we gonna lose? We lost Ruin and it came back. Good stuff. We need to hook and push that person off that gen. We got one person who we don't know what they're doing. One person a gen, one person doing totems. This guy... This girl on the hook. We need to push this person who's the only one doing stuff right now. Alright. We come through here. We threaten to do that. But she's not stupid. Well done. Oh my lord, I am the one that's stupid. She literally went behind me. We've, we've fallen for this twice now. We got Tinkerer. She's trying to escape for some reason, even though by all accounts, she was doing pretty good. That was really good of her. All right. I kind of want to throw two people. Yeah, let's go for this girl. She's going to think that I'm trying to tunnel her. I'm just, I just want to get something off you. Oh, very well played by all. She's not bad, dude. Ooh. And one here. Pallet gone. She drops through the hole. We're gonna lose a gen, but let's hope that's enough. Thank goodness. Only one? Yeah, that gen's gone in three seconds. One, two. But we got two hooks for it. And at least a little bit of a control over this single person gen that they cannot work on too much. Uh, I'm gonna guess that they're gonna hit- yeah, they did just that. Is that two or three? Two. The third guy is the- is David, I think, who's did this totem. It's taking him a long time to do this. Mm. I'd have been questionable to break this, but screw it, dude. Make this difficult for them. They're doing really, really well, if you ask me. I need to punish them for being in the open. Okay. Be very careful here. Using my chainsaw here can actually hit the top. So we're gonna play the super safe chains. Yup. Is she, is she lucky? Is she lucky? What? Is this a insane god gamer? That was really good of her. I need to get my chainsaw back, dude. She doesn't know that I don't have it yet. Oh man, I only have one charge. Run away, run away, run away. Of course. Fuck. Damn, dude. This is where the add-ons for charges would have helped a bit. Hi, Ruffy. Thanks. That girl, the Zarina, is absolutely 100% going back to her single-man gen. 
Oh, never mind. She's here to take a taxi. Let's do it then. You messed up, girl. What are you doing? I'm gonna hit a DS if I pick her up, I feel. Let's buy a bit of time. She'll go through the window. We'll break this wall. She went back. She's got a pallet here still. No, it's gone right. Ooh, that's looking good for us then. I think this is good enough. Fucking Christ, dude. I'm not... I'm really... Like, I know Billy gets stuck on those fences, so I was afraid of doing it any tighter than that. Zarina's back up. Unbreakable, perhaps. Doesn't seem like she's been picked up. It was too risky to pick her up. I think we would have hidden at the S by the way she's playing. We're at four gen still. Wow, all right. Props to them, dude. They're playing this really well. I want to chase in the other direction. All right, I'm gonna fake this. She'll come back. Oh, we got you now. No, that heart, she's already used it up. Uh, and she goes down. Second hook for her at four gems, but it could be less than that soon. Rip win streak? Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Oh, this girl's gonna help us though by doing absolutely bloody nothing. Thanks. Two gens being done at distance? Oh, that's quite critical, though. That could be tough, dude. That could be tough. Yeah, that's tough, man. We got rid of this really strong pallet. We need to go back. Whoever finished one of those gens is gonna immediately come for this rescue. And we need to stop that from happening, he thinks. Yup, they're coming. I'll beat you to it. Oh! All three of them here. And I still need to deal with the DS from this girl. Ooh, tough. Tough, 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 tough. We could lose this easily. Okay, we need a bit of snowball here so that we can get this arena out of the way. Hello, what? Okay, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. Whew. Uh, two on that gen, all right, not too bad. Seems that Rina's not. She does have... That was stupid though. I'll drop her, dude. I'll drop her and kill Zarina. Oh, uh, we couldn't drop her fast enough for us to recover that. It was Saboteur, so 30 seconds. She does have Diaz, I told you. You dumb bitch. We're not gonna reach him, but we might scare him a bit. That girl is up. This man. We need to stall them, and then this DS runs out eventually. Okay. Bait. What is he doing? He'll go through the window now? We got you, dude. She's already used her. She's already used up her unbreakable. She's been on the ground for a while now. We just need to wait a bit. Just wait a bit. Wait a bit. Oh, okay, whatever, dude. This girl will use Sabo again if we let her. We can't let her pick up this Zarina. No, dude, we cannot let it. Oh, they're doing so fucking well. It's painful. Shit. Soul Guard's a possibility now. No. Fuck. They're doing really well. I need to... You know, I don't have a fucking DS timer, so... It's a bit tricky. Shit. First hug, bit of pressure. Oh, you're there. Okay, that's good. You're there too! Oh, I love that. I'm not gonna do that. I knew it. M1, best we can do for now. That girl is 100% dead. Let's not... Focus on her too much because she's not stupid. And she does have something to work with here. We just need one and one and she's out. Three people still alive, perfectly capable of doing gems though. Mind you, this blood is not hers. Just to dry up. That's someone else. There we go. That would have been really sweet, dude. Did she get a bit carried away? She did. That art? Yeah, of course, we've seen it. Nice. Um, someone doing my Ruin. I can't believe Ruin's been up this whole time, but that means that if we've had all everybody uh, coming for the rescue, 
that means they haven't been on gems and ruin's been doing work and all of them are at zero you know or close to zero ruin's still up somehow two people on a gen now let's no tinker so it's not about to be done we can maybe take the time to go from the back and catch them a little bit of guard that's what we're gonna have to do with three people <sighs> these fucking bloody fans dude this is a little bit more feasible i think let's call that but i'd be surprised if someone's still not here they might be hiding in one of those 16 billion lockers. We won't bother, I think. Holy fuck, this fence, though. Holy fuck. Hi. If we had a key, we would also have to worry quite a bit. I don't hear her very much. She's dead. Doesn't make it at all. Okay. Second one for her, I think. How much? Uh, I think Cook the Grass will be too a bounce of a perk. I don't think people will use it a lot. Okay. Oh, they're both on the back gen. All right, let's go through the left then. One of them left a few seconds ago. I see him now. <gasps> oh, unlucky dude. I'm gonna use my charges because I'm pretty sure the last survivor will be in front of us just now. Or at least should be. We caught her. She's right here, behind this bush. Ain't she? Ain't she? Yep. Somewhere. Alright, we'll turn that around a bit. Thank Christ. Is she going right? Yep. Oh, dude, we got you, boy. <laughs> this fence is not your friend! Oh, man. No escaping the bubble train. Alright. Weird, dude. Weird. We had the good judgment not to eat that DS earlier. Fuck, that was tough. Good save, thank you. They played really, really well. They pushed us to two gens. Would ruin up a number of times. Plus, I think they did three gens to get rid of it. Sorry, three totems, maybe more. So, very unlucky from them. The DS was, you know, well utilized. I kind of, you know, I can complain about it, but I can't really complain when I'm running really strong perks myself. So, GG uh, all around for all of them, honestly. If I had been beaten by these guys, you know, GG well played. Now, Felix, though, could be anywhere in this town. Oh, we can close it. Hope he has adrenaline. Not adrenaline. Oops. Uh, we know where we're down him, but where could he have gone? If you use Pop Bill, will you win? Um, what, with this killer? Yeah, Pop is definitely not bad. The only problem with Pop is that if you get a really rough map, even getting to there to get the Pop is a lot of time you know <laughs> why would you run pop when this rune and dying i don't know dude on a killer like this it's all about chasing and creating pressure you know naturally organically by just downing survivors fuck it dude you're not legion you know you can hit kick a gen and then immediately start running and catch a survivor you're not blight or freddy who can run or teleport to gens very quick you know you're bubba if you go to oh yeah i was supposed to did you uh, if you go to a gen and you kick it, by the time you catch up to a survivor, they'll be dying from old age, you know? Maybe consider Deerstalker? Absolutely not, dude. Deerstalker's good, but I don't slug enough that I need it. I only slug in situations like this where I'm absolutely forced to. And even then, if they die on the ground, it's sad, but, you know, we'll take it. Hmm. Do you think that this game needs a search system for perks? Yeah! Uh, perks could be categorized the same way they are on DVD Mobile. So that will be great. We'll play it all. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. We'll play it. She did have any means necessary. <laughs> Good stuff. We did mind game ourselves a couple of times. But yeah, we'll play it. That's the hardest we've been pushed. Not the entire streak, but... Sorry, man. But yeah, one of the hardest ones um, in the 30 or so games we got with Leatherface so far. Blood Lodge. All right, this is the uglier cousin of Wrecker's Yard, which we just played. Can be a lot tougher. That guy with the toothpick, thank you for the 12 months. We do not take anything for granted. This map is actually quite tough. Pallets, everything. We have a crane and a boss, which is the worst combination you could probably have unless you get two. Can you even get two bad bosses? I don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty fucking rough. So, oh, and a good window there too. Immediate pressure on me to perform well here. An apology. This is tough. 
Let's get rid of it. There were two people here by the Scordons. Let's get the other. Oh man, I don't like this fucking jungle teams. Oh no. I don't think he's on the pallet or we would have seen him with the, with the bone, so. Oh my god, this is fucking gross. The Scordons back there. Oh, dude, the setup they have is fucking awful. We need to get rid of some of these pallets like ASAP. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, never mind. Oh shit, I almost killed that fucking wall too. Pick up the girl with Solgar first. That's how teachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have a basement here? Yes or no? Uh, we lost Undyne, which is very unlucky, and the other totem is right there, so... We might lose both perks very early on, but... Whatever, dude. Two hooks. One gym protected. And one basement, potentially. I'm dropping this fucker if... I don't like this basement, dude. It's taking too long. I'm dropping. No. It's not good. It's not good enough. I'm you fucking bet your ass I'm gonna get rid of your stupid DS this early, dude. Well, we still have ruin. It was a fucking bluff? Alright, fuck you. Or you missed it. Yeah, she didn't struggle at all. She missed it. That's gonna fucking haunt you. If I down this guy now, I actually- <gasps> He got stuck! You guys had everything you needed to win. Everything you needed to win. No terror radius? Let's creep up on this girl. If that guy had Unbreakable, he would have already used it. If Jake has Unbreakable, we might be able to wrap this up before it matters. Yeah, get greedy, dude. Woohoo! Spin burst doesn't matter. We might be able to catch up to it still if she doesn't do that perfectly. Fuck yeah. Pick up Jake, bring him to the hook right here, then pick up Meg. Uh, clearly this guy, if he could pick himself up, he would have done it by now. Hi. Why do people always prioritize the corner gems first? Um, honestly, not a crazy idea, but Tinker just came in clutch there. So thanks for that. They could have, you know, if we didn't have that element of surprise and they both spoon bursted away or something dumb like that. I think that could have been bad, you know? Mech had the right idea doing gens elsewhere. Yeah, no, they weren't in a bad spot at all. Why no basement hook? It was taking too long. Oh, for him? Uh, if this girl has Unbreakable, I want to be out and about so I can see what's going on. But for the, the guy, it would have taken too long. The, the staircase was too far. Maybe if I did it perfectly, I could have gotten down there. But I think it was a better idea to just drop. And then that girl missed her DS. If, it hit, if she hit me with DS, well, five gens, you know. Uh, DS out of the way, I can tell you. If I need to. Uh, that girl hits stage two. And this guy will struggle out, and if he finds Hatch, well done, he's earned it. I'm gonna drop him a couple times to force it, because if I try to get to a pow to a to a hook, we can't actually. Uh, good night, Magnolia. Cheers. Yeah, this guy could have done so much damage, dude. I thought that that was a proper jungle gym. It wasn't. It was a four, you know, four lane whatever. But that window there with this tile with the pallet, dude, this could have been so troublesome. That window there is like super well placed too, to run from one side to the other. Oh man, this could have been... Give them... Give them a bit more luck. Or, you know, a stronger team or something like that, they could have destroyed me. You scared from a rough one? Yeah, dude. That was potentially very, very close. They had some stuff as well that they didn't get to fully use. This girl did indeed miss her Diaz, didn't she? It was surely. We can check. Match details up here? No, it was Ask Ninja. Ah, she wanted to use her head on. I guess she was bluffing it. <laughs> well, that was a silly idea at any rate. Uh, did you wobble? We got. And a fucking key for the, li for the last one. Come on. No, dude. Do not do this to me. Come on. There's a key. I don't like this. Two flashes, I don't care. One key if they play well and we get a rough map. Just don't do this and send me to Warman or something, please, because that would be lethal. Yeah, I understand that, dude. 70 hours? Wow. Oh, come on, dude! Come on! We believe in you. <sighs> I don't want to play it. I want to back out. But, you know, we haven't done it before. We're not going to do it now. Why is Warman bad for killers? Uh, safe structures, lots of in-between pallets that are mostly time wasters that you cannot really play around as a killer. If they play it smart and they spread out, you lose almost straight up. Time to tunnel. We don't want to. But we'll do what we can to win. But we will count to win. 
They're on the channel already. A lot of progress for this little bit of time, and it's only one person. Toolbox, maybe? Do not discourage. You can do this, Ox. I'm not gonna respect that. This is the key girl. This is terrible, dude. We could ha have like three tinkers go off all at once if we commit to this girl for five seconds. Understand my limit. That's my limit. I need to pretend to chase her and me, go for those two. Just this once. I'll have to go all out. I need to. Hi, Zidane. Uh, okay. Doing a dual totem, that's good. Means they're not going all out. She needs to drop that pallet right now. Wow, that was a bit crazy, but okay. Multiple people here? Okay, we've disrupted a bunch. Worth a shot. She didn't do that, though. Panic, panic, panic. Shit. This pallet here is gone, and this girl's back for some reason. Will she have another safe pallet right here? That's the question. Before we catch up. I think she will. Oh. Damn it, dude. I could have done that tighter. This is really, really, really tough. Okay. That gem will be lost. Tinker comes in a minute from it, I think. We need to worry about gems early because of keys, you know that. Okay, that was a bit of a blunder for her. A tiny little bit too fucking close to, to that protruding piece of shit. Oh man, that's a hard reset on this chase. Someone doing a totem by the middle of nothing. Any pressure, man, we don't have a down. We've gotten two pallets out of the way and that's it. Fuck. I go for those two if I don't see anything. I need to go for those two. The key guy didn't heal either, which is bad news. Three people on it, I think. Do they have the good RNG on the... They do! Holy fuck! I didn't fully charge it. Fucking Christ. Good. Okay, I'm starting to... It's time to get under my skin. She was 99, I think. This is a tough one. She can run here a long time. Good, 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 good. Two people there. Okay, they're giving me a lot of info here. Not anymore. Oh, that person's up for sure. We don't get a chance to punish this either. What are you doing, you absolute... Alright, let's go hook there and pick up that girl. They made a mistake here that I can bite into. Thanks, Ronnie, I'm dying. For the info. These guys are fucking insane, unless they have a... They are crazy. I'm gonna take the Tinker. That will fuck them up. They've messed up. They've messed up big. Not amount of unbreakable safety from this, I don't think. All the gems they started back to nothing with Ruin because the whole team is involved and the whole team is pressured. Uh, you fucked up. You'll make it to that pallet, but you do nothing after. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't take into account this thing. We're gonna let her think she's got the upper hand, but we're gonna come through here and shut her off. We don't have our chance yet, do we? Nope. No unbreakables or they'll be up by now, I reckon. Unlucky, dude. You need to bring more unbreakables against a kill that can insta down if you're gonna bully. Alright, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking shaking, dude. Oh, we could have caught her there, no problem. I'm just nervous. Which is shameful. But sure. I'm afraid of hitting it and then giving them a window there. Oh, you know. Big sigh of relief. This kill could have unbreakable, but if she's the only one that I pick up now, we got it. We go back, pick up what's left, and say GG well played at the end. We had one match where there was an AFK guy for a bit that I feel pretty bad, so we're gonna try to get 51st, you know, uh, 51 wins in a row to make it completely fair. But this is officially 50 wins in a row with Bubba. Win again is, you know. Maybe I'm counting my- Nah, we got this. Sacrifice. Uh, a win is, um, 
either four kills or three kills if they have to take the hatchet or you close the hatchet or blah blah blah. Damn, dude. Don't make no mistake, dude. If we were running some the usual perks I like to run, just you know, slightly off meta, this would have been tough. Tinker bought us a lot. His cordons told us what to do. Ruin and dying specially, you know. Thoughts on the twins. Uh, weak. They don't seem very they seem very complex, they seem very fun, and I think that if they are polished, they can be really fearsome and really fun. So I'm looking forward to the next what? killer. But phew, let me breathe, dude. I I made some mistakes like bumping into a locker or bumping or not or not getting that chance. Oh, because I was <laughs> shaking. Going not good. Thank you, Blondie. Nice yeah, no, that was terrible, dude. They honestly had a really great start. I don't know what are the uh, some of the decisions they made were questionable. I now, looking back, think that the Kate with the key had self care and resilience. Let's see. No self care, huh? I guess you got patched up by someone real quick. Well, dude, most of these people are console fellows, so we can't even say GG easy. But here's a warp light, dude. Ouchies, ouchies. This was the thing that tried to head on us. Congratulations, you beautiful man. Ah, yeah. uh, Chas, thank you, thank you. Hey, that's great. We don't need to play Boa for a while. <laughs> yeah, um, again, this streak has been sponsored by Rune and Dime being absolutely so fucking strong that even bad maps like this are, are, are like, you know, uh, manageable for even a killer that doesn't have that much going for him. Thank you, Kriya. Thank you very much, all. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a... We did have some really fun matches all around. <laughs> what a... What a show, though. I was a Claude GG man. Oh, well played, Claudette. We were we were very very lucky there. You guys played really scary at the start. Uh, congrats to, to your teammates. You guys scared me a lot. I'm glad I could beat you though. Barely. Thank you. 